Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another BJ and Co. How to play Minecraft video. Here with Ben today and we are taking a look at our Sky Factory 3 world and we're hunting down a few more achievements for you and help showing you guys exactly what you need to know in order to knock them off your list. So uh, what are we doing today? We're looking at some enchantments. We're delving into the world of Tinkers. Tinker's Construct, it's a fabulous mod that lets you do all sorts of fun stuff with uh, tools by building the parts and putting them together into all sorts of shapes and sizes and all sorts of good stuff. Um, the ones we're tackling today, we are going to level up a Tinker's weapon. We're going to chain this smashing modifier with the diamond hammer. We're going to, even though it's not quite Tinker's, we're going to craft the highest tier builder's wand. And we're going to craft a melee Tinker's weapon to do 20 damage or more. So we'll get straight on into it. If you guys have been finding these helpful, let us know. Smash that like button. If you have questions, comments, just want to chat with us, let us know down in the comments below. We love hearing from you guys, especially those of you that are here all the time. That living for all fun nugget. We love you guys. Um, if you want to help us out, support the channel more, consider hitting that subscribe button down below or look in, link in the description has a link to our Patreon page where we appreciate all the support that we get, especially our main man, Yo Man. The one guy that supports us on Patreon! Awesome, man. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Um, yeah, and if you just want to join the community, consider hitting the Discord link down below, guys. Do it, do it, do it! So let's do this. Okay, so, first things first. Leveling up a Tinker's weapon or tool. That one's easy. Once you've made one, which we've kind of looked at in previous episodes, just use it. And as you use it, you'll gain experience for it. You can see my manual in Matic right now is at level comfortable, XP 71 out of 1,000. And my pickaxe is actually a custom, so it's the next level up. Its XP is at 117 out of 2,000. The more I use it, the more it will level up and will become a level up Tinker's Weapon. So I've already done that. Simple and easy. You should be able to nail that one out, no problem. The next piece, we want to add the smashing modifier to a Tinker's pickaxe to obtain by adding a diamond hammer. Wow, words tonight are just horrible. So this is relatively easy. You can use any sort of Tinker's pickaxe that you want. I have just decided to pull my iron pickaxe that I made uh, quite early on. It's uh, not horrible, but uh, it's not great either. You cannot use it with something that's got silk touch, so it kind of screws with my manual and pickaxe. But um, all we need to do once we've got that is head over to this tool forge. If you, um, I mean, you should have all of this stuff, but if you need to know what you need to make, uh, just look Tinkers up in here. These are all the different pieces that you need to make Tinkers tools. And once you get to the highest level stuff, you will need this tool forge to smelt stuff together. Uh oh certain lag mode. um but we do have some previous videos in the series that show the setup of this sort of thing so we're not going to go through all that today um so yeah we've got our we've got our pickaxe and all we have to do is go to this tool forge that we're at right now and then like you would to add any modifier like if you want to add sharpness or whatever you do need um some modifiers available so this one's got three available which is perfect that's all we need and all we need is a diamond hammer, which is two sticks, two diamonds. Easy enough. Throw it in here, and you can now see that my pickaxe is going to get smashing. I'm sorry, I'm getting rid of the NEI stuff just so that we can take a look here. So it already had the ecological and the magnet from the wood and the iron that it's got on it, and now this will give it smashing and knock the modifiers down to two. I don't know if it affects... Oh, it also ups the attack, ups the mining level, ups the durability of all of it. Can't complain about that one. So... We just pick it on up, and we're good. Smashing, I gotta play around with it, but I think it actually, well, it says breaks it up into smaller things, so probably is great for, um, I mean, it's basically like having a hammer, but with the ecological, it would be fun on this one. Gotta play around with that a bit. Um, so, another one, down. I can't keep on track. We, now let's do this highest tier builder's wand. Builder's wand, builder's wand, builder's wand, wand, wand. So, this one, I mean, the Builder's Wand are relatively easy. Um, there is three levels of it. We've just been using the first so far, but the Builder's Wand, so there's, uh, well, there's the normal Builder's Wand, Stone, Iron, Diamond, and then you get up to the Unbreakable. And the first Unbreakable can do a maximum of 4,096 blocks. By going higher up, you can get all the way up to 6,000. So it just makes your builds, if you're trying to do a build, makes it so much easier. So... 
all we need to do is nether star and sticks we should have it um we need then so if we grab this i'm gonna grab four total we've got that and then if we take our first level ones put them together we get the second level so we're going to do that twice and once we have the second level we put the third together and boom we cannot go any higher tier than that we've got the sixteen thousand. we've got the sixteen thousand. so all we needed was the damn nether stars which are a pain to get well i guess you only need four for this one but now that it's automated so worth it and i haven't done much since our last episode but still got 32 sitting around totally worth it totally worth it okay so so far pretty uh pretty solid episode the next one we're going to talk about here is a little bit where we're going to go in depth a little bit more which is crafting a melee tinker's weapon that does 20 damage or more so this one's a little bit tougher well not not necessarily tougher to get but might not be as intuitive as everybody else uh, would think because this is when we sort of got have to start delving into a bit more of the actual mod pack itself um, definitely take a look at the materials in your book i don't know if you i've gotten it i can't remember how um but this one if you need to make it oh yeah just a pattern with the book and this is handy because it talks about i mean there's tons of pages in here about how to make all the different what the different tools are how to make them though the tool forge is pretty simple and easy but then it talks about materials and the reason i talk about this is it gives us a better overview of everything what it's used if it's a headpiece an extra piece a handle piece all that jazz and as well as you can kind of look at the base weapons if they were just made out of that material what they would be so taking a look here the weapon that has the most the highest attack damage her is the wooden cleaver here so and it's the same with any of these if we flip through the cleaver has the best so that's going to be kind of our base one let's see what material if we did it solidly would make the most sense so we've got stone cactus flint so we're in the we're in the nines not quite close to what we want and we can add in some modifiers later on so we're going to look what's the best one that we can hit up uh we start to get better with bone, better with obsidian. We're the 11s, but that's a long way to go still. 13 with prismarine. And stone's pretty eh. Paper. Ew. Sponge. Ew. Firewood. That's getting better. Oh, I don't have any of that, I don't think. Iron. Eh. We're still not quite. I'd like to get over that 15 mark. Don't have anything. Don't have anything. Oh, 15.4 for magnet slime. That's not too bad. 9.24, 11, 10 with the Ardite. That's the one we want. Manulant right there, 18.2. That is a solid, solid um, number that we can start with and then we can play around a little bit with it. So this one gives us, uh, if we use all of it, we get the 18.2. The Manulant, in order to get this one, this one's a little bit more fun because you need to mix together um, well, I guess you need cobalt and ardite, which I guess if we go back into here, it's these two cobalt and the ardite. I've been getting some from my void ore miner. You can get some from beneath. You just got to look around, hunt it down, and get it. And then you smelt them together. I think it's a two to one cobalt to ardite, or sorry, two ardite to one cobalt gives you manulin, I believe. Let's uh, let's let's check my math. Smelting, casting, manualing, alloying. Oh no, it's a one-to-one. -one. Okay, that's not too bad. So one-to-one -to, -one to get that one. So that is going to be our base. Now the next piece is what can we do to add a bit to it? Um, and you can play around. You can look at all this sort of stuff if you want to work your way through it. The one that kind of stood out to me is the um, bone tends to give the either uh, the, with bone you can get the fractured modifier which allows your tools to damage to increase so the head we want to be manual because that's going to get the six, seven eight eight over um that gives us some really good numbers um but then we want to use the either the extra or the handle to be out of bone so that we get the 
modifier that's going to give us additional damage. And then we can put sharpness and stuff on it later too if we need more than that by mo adding bone on as modifiers. But we want to make sure peace is there. And uh, I played around a little bit before this just to make sure. So we're going to go to the tool forge. We're going to hit the cleaver up. And we're going to put the head in. We're going to put the two tool rods in. We're going to put this. And exactly like we said, this is going to give us that um, manual and cleaver with the 18.2 attack damage. Fantastic. That's exactly what we were looking for. Um, but we want more. Let's see, let's see what more we can milk out of it. So what's, I guess and we can see everything here. So 18.2, let's, let's try swapping some pieces. So we had talked about how this piece, the, the head, is the most important piece for it, uh, which will affect the attack damage. So if we split that with stone, you can see it drops, or not stone, sponge. It drops significantly. So that, that has to stay as our... Um, piece that has the manual in it. it's got to be manual in there but what else can we do so you see i've got bone of all the other pieces available too let's let's swap the head out and again the this plate is looked at as a head so the cleaver itself has two heads to it so we're going to want both of those to stay at manual in. um and then we've got these two tough tool rods so if we just get one of these tool rods here we're at uh 1300 durability and 18.2 if we swap one of these we go to a little bit more durability and a little more damage and we get the fracture right so that's why we're getting that and the same as if we swap it down here what's interesting is we swap it if we swap it here we get the attack damage and the durability but if we swap it here we just get the attack damage and not a lot of durability so it's neat to see the different um how each different space if it's considered an extra or a handle what it goes so let's swap the handle here and then i mean durability is good but i was thinking considering maybe let's take a look at there's something better that we can do in here and i mean we could swap here but it hurts the durability significantly but if we swap our right here gives us a little bit more um a uh, little bit more uh durability with obsidian and we gain durite which gives it lasting longer which means sometimes it doesn't use durability there's one other thing i want to do i was noticing in the book that the um the durability extra that you get from arda is fantastic and it gives you pet um petra armor which will literally absorb stone for durability so i want to make a tough tool rod out of that one and see how that affects because i think i run out of ardite i've ran out of ardite uh that's embarrassing i will be back when i have some ardite ready to go guys sorry about that all right guys so we've got the ardite back in here we're just making the tool rod and we'll see what it does before we get there i've got a question for all you guys because tinker is such a huge mod with all these different things that we can work with i want to know what is your favorite tinker's weapon and what combination do you like to use on it? Do you like manulin with cobalt and ardite? Do you use some wood or paper or you know, bones in there? What is your favorite Sky Factory 3 Tinker's weapon? I want to know. Let me know down in the comments below, guys. And now let's finally see what this does. So 2,123 modifiers with these four things. If we swap it out here, we get the Petra armor and it goes up to another 2,800. So I think that's that's the one that I'm going to rock today. We are going to get a manual cleaver. And now that we've made this, you can also see that the XP starts at 500 for a base level weapon. That will go up. It does not take long for you to level up your uh, Tinker's weapon. So definitely do it. But we've done it, guys. We've nailed out another achievement. That's not the right achievement book. We've crafted a Tinker's weapon with 20 more damage. So another a fantastic one we got four things knocked out of the books it's great hope you guys found this one helpful um if you did let us know by smashing that like button you have questions thoughts or you want to answer the question about your favorite tinker's weapon let me know down in the comments below if you uh, want to help support the channel consider checking all the links out below to our community pages as well as our uh, patreon link but the biggest way you can help us out is hit that subscribe button down below the video to ensure that you do get notified when all of our content goes live so you can come back and hang out with us some more so thank you guys very much for watching today and we'll catch you all in the next one bye